Hey guys, Rock and Robo here with some more Hera Coliseum, this time showing off a uh, fusion deck. I was originally going to do a speed one, but I came up against three Videl decks, and basically they had Videl, I didn't, so I lost, and the one turn where in the third game I could have won, the RNG screwed me over and only gave me a 180. So yeah, that, um, oh my god, <laughs> double Videl, okay. This is going to be fun. So against Leon 7... Um, kind of some nasty stuff there. Um, from you, you, you. So yeah, defensive deck to uh, sort of uh, show off fusion. Like I say, went with speed, went against Videl's. Wasn't going to happen. That's the problem with speed decks. If your opponent has Videl and you don't, you lose. Can I get a low number? Thank you. Couldn't have he had a high number. Can I not have had sort of the game be my friend for once? We're going to hit reasonably hard, but not hard enough to kill Piccolo, unfortunately. But that's why Go Gogeta's in the front. Sort of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He has a shed load of health. I put all of my dupes into his health, so... No, honestly, that figure there is just to make sure that Kefla doesn't get beaten up. She's the, the main heavy hitter there with 9,000 attack. <laughs> yeah, that's about as much damage as I was expecting. Still means Kefla should do a little bit more. Yep. Counter. Thank you. Bye, Piccolo. And there, my friends, is the risk of running an 01 skill piccolo. Because a Kefla can come and fuck you right up. Also, I'm only running a couple of UTG down skills. Because Kefla's sitting in the back line here. So she's always going to have either Gogeta or Gogeta in front of her. Uh, I've got Zamasu here as my 01 skill user. Because he can hit pretty damn hard. And then uh, Vegito there. Okay, you can do that. I don't really care. It's nice to see somebody using God Vegeta, even though it's not a particularly good figure. I think he's basically a slightly better version of Kaba. I think that's the best way to describe him. A slightly better version of the Kaba figure we have. And that's pretty bad if God Vegeta is only just better than Kaba. But, you know, it's it's what we got. It's what we got to work with, so. He might work in a red team that I uh, want to do. I think I've got enough characters to do a, a red team. I don't know. I have to look that up a bit more. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> I don't care. It's nice to see somebody using an original deck, you know. Admittedly, the two Videls. You know, I don't like that, but, you know. Using off God Vegeta, using some different character skills on him, I can uh, I can admire that and respect it. Well done, Gogeta. I think we could actually win it this turn because we're going. Yeah, we're doing a bit more damage. Uh, relies on if Kefla gets a counter attack, we win. I think. Yep, we win. Well done, Kefla. That's my girl. Boom. What? I was so sure that we'd get that then. Did I not do... I did 11,000. And he had just enough left to claw... To claw on. Okay. Right. Um, just pretty hard to kill at this point, in all honesty. Even with losing 5,000 health. He's got to play one across the board. Oh, no. No, he just wants to kill my Gogeta, I'm guessing. He had to try and block me off. He'll kill... Uh, he'll probably kill Gogeta this turn. Although it'll be tough. Because that Gogeta's got a lot of defense. 
Plus he's got protection from Super Gogeta. So I'd be interested to see if he can uh, endure this. He shouldn't. It's a it's a Vegito and a Videl. Yeah, he's definitely dead now. He might have lived. He might have lived without that counter-attack. Let's, uh... Yeah, Videl can definitely do that. Let's see how much he'd have done. I'm just interested to see if Gogeta could have lived this. No, not quite. He'd have still died regardless of the counter-attack, so it didn't matter. Ah, please don't, Videl. <laughs> Did some reasonable damage. Argument for putting Vegito down my right, as, or down his right? Maybe. I don't think Vegito would have done enough with Gogeta there, reducing their damage. GG Lion7, got to uh, admire the God Vegeta pick. So, full respect. Even though it's compensated by having two Videls. <laughs> Alright guys, here we are with game number two against Gianni77NA, seven, seven <coughs> sorry. I've been kicked out of three lobbies prior to this game. Uh, one of them was level 50 yard, one was 60 yard, and the other was about 87. So, yeah. Fun times. When uh, you get kicked out for that. So, yeah. But this guy stayed in, so uh, full credit to uh, Gianni here. Yeah, you're using up one skills, but you know. Uh, I can't take anything from this game. But the person stayed in, so let's give them credit for that. We'll just run this. Not the uh, ideal game two I was looking for, but unfortunately, you know, beggars can't be choosers at the minute. Alright, Chomp is dead. Godku should be dead as well. Uh, before anybody says why, why don't I just play against the top players? Because they're top players and they use bloody good decks like freaking uh, Videl decks and Piccolo Vados decks. And gimmick decks can't win, or at least they struggle to. This would probably do okay against defense decks, but a Videl deck is just going to cripple me because... She'll take away my defences and then they'll just blow my stuff away. Anyway, I was against Leon 7 in the first one, so... Gogeta actually took a fair amount of damage there. I'm surprised. And then again, he has a Chomper on the field, doesn't he? So, that compensates for that. Come on, Godku. Okay. Get stuck. <laughs> Sorry, get, get an Ego Gita. What was I talking about? I was rooting for Godku. The opponent. I wonder if Gogeta can get the kill. He can. Again, it, it's they're not fully leveled, so... Can't take much away from this game. If I get a counter-attack here, Kefla one-shots. Nope. That's a shame. I'll just stick. Surprised he didn't put Rose down, but then again, you usually put Rose down the middle, and he has Champa. He could have put Rose to the side, though. I'd have been tempted to put that in front of the God Coup. I think that's where Rose procs, isn't it, on the left? Because Goku Black's on the right. I don't like the fact that he's put that rosé down the middle because it means it's going to take another turn to win. Because there's no way that um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta can take down that rosé in one turn. That's some really poor damage. I know it's not fully leveled, but that... that that Ultra Instinct Goku has really disappointed me. Yeah, he's not terrible. But he's very reliant on you running the right skills. And having the right set of events happen, so... He's a bit too uh, situational for my liking. I 
All right. Oh god, we've still got Rosé's attack to come, haven't we? Yeah, terrifying. <laughs> Yeah, like I say, Gogeta hasn't got enough attack yet to uh, take this thing down. Even with a buff. We'll have a 30% buff, but his attack isn't high enough. Take advantage of it, maybe with a counter? I'm interested to see if this counter will kill. It all comes down to RNG, I think. Yep, you see? RNG. I RNG'd myself an extra uh, sort of 50 or so attack, which was enough to uh, to kill. Uh, Fuse dead as well, no surprise there. And Kefla gets to win it. GG. Full credit to uh, Gianni for sticking around. A lot of people uh, either kicked me out of their lobbies or rage quit at the minute, so you know. Oh, sh I was on. I was in ranked. Oh god! <laughs> All right. Well, I'll uh, head to game three now. See if we can get somebody uh, a little higher leveled. All right, guys. Here we are with game number three against Co Capone Nen Cop against Cop. He's level fifty-one. This is in ranked again. So you know. I'm coming up. I'm going into ranked because there's nobody playing player, and the ones that are playing kick me out. So, okay, nice defensive deck here with that uh, Videl. Ah, oh, you're using the speedy. No, you're not. You're using the attack version. Nice. I actually think that Santa Videl is quite underrated. Um, I think we should just go with the old. Uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Whoops, I nearly I nearly broke it quite a lot, actually. Oh, wow, he's actually put her down, so Piccolo's going to live, because even with Kefla hitting him, I think he should be good with an extra 2,000 defense. There we go. We uh, get to go second, so we've got a chance. We've got a chance of killing him, but... Certainly not a particularly good chance, I don't think. Fidel's going to hit relatively hard here. Yeah, 4k is not bad for a level 60 figure. It's not even a major attacker. I still have to make an updated waifu video deck, don't I? Because Ribrian's here, so of course she has to uh, be head waifu now. Alright, Gogeta should be able to live this turn, so that's pretty good. I overestimated Godku, but he was in the back row, so he didn't get any of his buffs for the turn. Yeah, that's about what I expected from Gogeta. Sort of Super Gogeta. Super Saiyan 4, what can you do? That's not bad damage. Considering the Videl went down, and I'm sure... Wait, does she trigger on that square or not? Or that circle. No. I'm trying to think the diff sort of her and um, Santa 18, which one triggers where. I think Videl actually triggers in the back. I think she's back right and top left, and 18 is the opposite. Let's see. No, that was her trigger square. That's actually really surprising that we killed the. Uh, the Piccolo, then. Um, let's swap things around a little. I wanted to go one across the board, just because I thought he might double up down the middle. But, no, nah, he went one across the board, so... There we go. Another turn of going second, which is what we wanted. Um, this is all providing Kefla live. She should do, but she's going to take one hell of a beating from Goku. Again. She's good at that. Okay, that's fine. Videl's dead this turn. Can you live for me, Kefla? Of course you can. Good girl. 
And Gogeta will have no problem tanking this. Since, uh, once again, he couldn't be put on his trigger square because he was locked in place because of Santa Videl. Should be an easy kill here. <sighs> Not an easy kill. Not an easy kill because uh, it was only 600 or so over. And Goku's dead, and now so is Ultra Instinct Goku. Think how mad the fans would have been if this had actually happened in the show. <laughs> oh man, that would have been. I I'd love. I love in a way how dedicated the Dragon Ball community is, and then at the same time, I just find out how hilarious it is to easily trigger them with stuff like bloody Ribrian. Like seriously, it's hilarious, really. <laughs> Does he have his ultimate gauge yet or not? It doesn't matter. He can't win the speed time. Anyway, I was considering giving it to him, but then I thought, hang on, if I do that, I could really regret it. Full credit to you again. You stayed in. This was ranked again. Had to had to look in ranked, you know. It's not ideal. But I can't have sympathy for anybody who goes into ranked especially because, you know, you know what you're getting yourself into. Eh, not bad damage. I think Gogeta's faster, isn't he? So he's gonna blow. He's gonna blow him away before Kefla gets a chance. I think. I wanted to make a theme of Kefla just being the the one that wins it all the time, but oh, we can still have that. Yep, Kefla is the winner. I just wish her second figure was better. Ow, that damage is insane. Yay! Five more FP. Wonderful. Though I really don't care that much, in all honesty, about uh, my FP. Not the amount of uh, models and everything. Um, is the time for another game? Maybe. I might I'll see if if I have a quick game in my next one, I'll tack that on the end, so uh Right, I'll jump into that game. Alright, so after looking around for a few matches, there wasn't anybody sort of high leveled on. So combine that with how long the video's been, I decided to end it here. I'll show off the uh, the figures in here so you can at least get a, a glimpse of them. So this is the Gogeta who is sitting in the front. I will say a lot of these figures were um, statted back before I um, before I was as good at the game as I am now. Basically, after the first set of figures came out, I took a long, long break. And when I came back, I wasn't really that good. And I didn't really stat my figures so well, so you can have a glance here. So, Gogeta, in hindsight, I would have put all of those into attack. But that isn't too bad. That's not too bad. Admittedly, having the 100 in attack is a bit weird, but that's not too bad. This is disgusting. This is literally the worst thing I have ever done to possibly any figure apart from the original Damage Gohan. Yeah, this shouldn't have anything in speed or health. It should all just have been sunk into attack, really. But, um, yeah, hindsight. Kefla... I kind of regret uh, putting that 150 into her health. That's the first thing I did. I was thinking of trying to make her a bit more tanky, but truth of the matter is it should all just go into her attack to make her just blow people up. Zamasu is another example of me not knowing exactly what I should be doing. I think that's one where you could argue it all going into speed or attack. Because uh, it really doesn't matter. He was used going to be used as O1 skill. Most of the time, so I'd probably put it into speed. In all honesty, just so that uh, he could run in the in the main deck with speedier figures, and then back to Gogeta. So yeah, <laughs> there's some poor figures there, some very poorly figures. I really need to uh, work on starting them again. I uh, yeah, <laughs> I've got another blue Vegito, but I haven't got any dupes in him yet. So 
But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that like button and subscribe for more of my Hero Coliseum videos. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notifications when I upload. And I'll see you all next time.